Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to my 2018 Formula 1 World Championship Series right here on F1 2017. After the disaster that was Melbourne, I'm hoping to try and bounce back with some sort of a decent result here in Bahrain. Uh, for those of you that didn't catch my Melbourne race, I did have a decent qualifying run. I think we qualified like 14th in the end. And then we were up inside the top 10 for a while, but unfortunately it all came unstuck at the first pit stop when I uh, got stuck with a pit lane penalty. And then I also got uh, crashed into by Brendan Hartley out on track. Now for those also that didn't uh, catch that race or are new to my channel, I do like to keep my sim racing games as up to date and as realistic as possible. So this is F1 2017, however we are running a full 2018 mod so we've got all the new drivers all the new liveries uh, all the new logos and whatnot the only thing we don't have is all, uh, all the new driver animations and actual chassis themselves so it looks and feels like f1 2018 although it is still last year's game now because it is last year's game it runs off the 2017 formula one world championship schedule and last year they actually ran china before bahrain this year they're running bahrain before china so i have recorded them both in last year's sort of schedule but i'm going to upload load them in this year's schedule so I've already actually raced China I'm not going to give away what my result was or any of that stuff I'm going to upload that uh, when the real China race is this year and I'll let you guys watch that then but that's enough talk we're going to go straight into qualifying and hopefully we can get this Williams somewhere up towards the front Cars are ready, the drivers are ready. We hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain. Now then, Anthony Davidson, you're not getting any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions in a, an illustrious 30-year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you have that one chance to deliver a perfect lap? It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk, and just how much of it are you willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking, cornering and traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, I've been doing this 30 years now and it never gets any easier. Okay, you should be able to get into the next qualifying session easily. So try to get a hot lap in early so we can save the tyres. All right, here we are, Q1. Just about to go out and run our first hot lap now. The car's actually been pretty fast this weekend. Well, it's felt stable, to say the least. Now, the one thing I will say before we go out on track is that, unfortunately, for some reason, the durability of this Williams is absolutely shocking. I mean, I know it's to do with the... Um, with the career mode and the way it's set up but as you can see here our after just two rounds and a couple of practice sessions um, here at the Bahrain Grand Prix we are already down to 66% on the ISC or uh, ICE I should say which is the actual main engine part we're down to 50% um, on the MGU it's pretty quiet out on track so I mean <laughs> we're in a bit of trouble it'll last well I, I hope to god it'll last the whole race but yeah, definitely um, a bit of a shock as we've only yeah got one race left on this sort of first couple of units, whereas uh and we've sort of need to make them last five. We need to make them last five rounds, and they're only gonna last three in the end. So definitely need to spend some of these upgrade points on upgrading the sort of durability of the car. So hopefully it lasts the whole race and we won't have to take any grid penalties towards the end of the year but anyway that's enough talk uh, we're gonna go out and post our first lap I'm not gonna screw around today I'm gonna go straight on to the super soft tire which is the softest tire that you get to use here at Bahrain because I mean it's I think we should make it into Q2 but I definitely can't hang about I need to put down a pretty decent lap so we can't just roll around Now I have had to go with a pretty low downforce setup to make up for the sort of lack of engine speed that we have due to that wear. The 
question is, why do I have nine laps of fuel? Oh, well. It'll burn away as we get to that second or third lap. So, for those that don't know, Bahrain is a night race. It's a new sort of night race. I think last year or the year before was the first year that it was made a night race. So, we're sort of in changing conditions here as the visibility changes. The lights will turn on and the track will actually become much clearer. I always find the track much easier. Well, when I race in real life, the track's much easier to see in, um, in the night than what it is in the day. Although, in the night, it feels like you're going four times faster. I have no idea why. I think it's because the reflections of all the paint and the surface sort of reflects back at you and makes it sort of makes you understand how fast you're actually going. So we'll just warm up this tire a little bit more. I don't really want to overheat them. We should hopefully get two good laps out of this set of tires. Hopefully it'll be enough to get us straight into Q2. Alright, here we go. First hot lap. Let's make it a good one. And I fucked it already. Well... That is not how you start a qualifying session. Just not enough heat in the brakes, not enough heat in the tyres, and just went straight on at turn one. That's right, we'll reset and go again. Alright, so... Obviously the, uh... The cooler conditions have pulled me out of it there. As the sun goes down, this track gets a lot cooler. Actually, we'll follow behind Bottas for a while here. I suppose we need to burn away some of this fuel anyway. Take two. Oh, a slight look up. there a bit. It's alright, got away with it. You're that was much better than what I did in practice, that's for sure. That was a... couldn't have gone much quicker than that. Through there. That's a really hard corner. get that last corner right. It was a little bit of a messy lap, but we... It was a good banker lap. 32.6. That'll put us in 11th. We need to go a little bit quicker than this. We'll go again.
way too much speed. Nah, I'm just gonna pull this one. Alright, we'll go back in and try again, but that's not gonna get us into Q2, so... Much slower than I anticipated. I definitely need to, well, having this high fuel though doesn't help. Well, it's not really high, but it's still five laps of fuel. That's too many kilos. half second quicker than that if I get it right. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a disaster if we didn't make it into Q2 today. Set of tires on. Uh, what am I gonna get? Gosh, I hate that. That is not a good sign. Look, the whole thing's now almost yellow. Our best lap so far. Energy is store is the only thing that's probably lasting half decent right now. So that should be the right fuel now. Alright, so I'm just going to skip forward a bit where we'll get onto the. Wow, 29 2. Far out, that's quick. Ain't no way I'm going to get anywhere near that. Man, wow, we need to find like a second. I reckon I could get a low 32, but that's it. I, I honestly reckon that this this power issue that we have being down on power with this old engine is I think causing us more issues than I think I mean as you can see here stroll is definitely off the pace as well I'm not I'm just not sure why this career why they've made this career mode so ridiculously difficult this year I mean I understand being slow at the start of the season not developing the car yet but this is I mean as you can see here the Williams is way off the pace and it's not just me it's my teammate as well so I maybe have chosen the wrong car for this year but to be honest I mean when you go to like the performance overview in the sort of laptop but back at the um, team sort of hub at, between each sessions you can see that it says that the Williams is uh, it says that the Williams is actually much faster than say the Toro Rosso or the um, or the sort of McLaren but not what it looks like here. Anyway, we'll skip forward a bit and hopefully be able to get somewhere close to Q2, although at this rate it is not looking good. Alright guys, here we go, just about to go out and set our final lap in Q1. <laughs> it's going to be extremely hard to get into Q2, but we're on a new set of tyres. We have lower fuel, so I have changed that, so hopefully we should be able to try and set some sort of decent lap.
so in theory the track should actually be getting quicker as the sun goes down, as the track gets cooler. I mean a cooler racetrack means more grip, less friction and less slide, so allows the tyre to well, grip into the surface better, but it can go the opposite. So when the track get, uh, when the track gets too cold then the tyre doesn't get hot enough and the doesn't soften up the rubber enough to provide enough grip, but I mean, we're out in Bahrain, so there's definitely no issues on that front. Okay, this is going to be very hard. It's going to have to take a miracle, but we'll give it our best shot. Oh my god, what? <sighs> Screwed up the second lap, and it is all over. I just was put off by the Mercedes behind me, caught up behind me, the, I think that's Hamilton. Try, and then it was overtaking me through turn one, so we basically were behind on that lap from the front foot, but we've been knocked out in Q1. I mean, I don't think I would have had anywhere near enough to make it in Q2 anyway, but that, yeah, that just sucks. That really sucks. Alright guys, well there we have it. No Q2 for us today. It's actually a really disappointing end to what was a very short qualifying. I reckon if I'd perfected that lap, I could, I could probably have gotten the high 31s, but with this uh, engine being as old as it is now, I just don't think there's any chance of us getting a decent result over one lap. We'll see how we go in the race tomorrow. It's definitely going to be a struggle, but hopefully for round four, we should have a brand new engine, so that should be, well, that should be nice. But yeah, definitely disappointing, considering I felt like we have a, we have a pretty good car here, just absolutely no pace over the one sort of hot lap, but we'll try and do a one-stop in the race and overtake everyone <laughs> in the long run, but yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy. Alright guys, well there we have it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the race tomorrow. Should be a pretty interesting one coming from the back. We'll see how many positions we can make on that first lap and sort of hopefully drive through the field somehow. But yeah, no, it should be a fun one. Also stay tuned for MotoGP 
uh, WRC and also Monster Energy Supercross as well as IndyCar and the NASCAR iRacing series coming to my channel this weekend. It's just going to be a massive weekend, but we'll see how we go tomorrow. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.